dogs to train just three years ago and went full time two years ago. He now has around 130 dogs and has made four category one finals in the last two months alone. Things really are going from strength to strength here in Coventry. It's been a great year, start of the year. We couldn't have asked for a better one, really. Um, category one finals, doing well at Monmouth. Uh, dogs are running well, new owners, so yeah, it's been a great start to be honest. It's been really great to come here today. You've got so many good dogs, so many with potential. We're going to uh, whiz through a few of them. Probably the most consistent dog in your kennel, it's fair to say, is Mr. Roo, who uh, was in the Northamptonshire Sprint Final and a Golden Sprint semi-finalist as well. He's done you proud. Yeah, he came to me, he was, uh, was just a grader, really, um, running around pool. I mean, he worked his way up from possibly A4, A5, probably even lower than that, to A1. And we had him uh, run him in a few graded races, got to the stage where he was probably, fair to say, he was ungradable around Monma, really. Uh, and that's a tough grade there. Uh, took him on the road and he's so consistent. He's probably only come out the first two or three, probably, I don't know, half a dozen times in 20 or 30 runs, which is phenomenal considering who he's been running against. Of course, you've stepped him up uh, with the viewer having a crack at the derby. Do you think he stays? Uh, that's a million dollar question. He's, he's staying better. I mean, the last couple of runs, we've tried him in the trial stakes there. He hasn't got away from the field like I would like him to for an early pace dog. And he, he's had company on him literally out the first bend. But he's still only been run out by one dog. He's still come second and second. And there's been some good dogs in behind him. <laughs> if he gets stronger and cracks, who knows, a little bit of trouble. We might pinch a couple of rounds of him. Being realistic, he's not going to win the derby. And that's, you know, I'm not doing him a disservice really. But if we can pinch a couple of rounds and then maybe get an appearance derby final night, we'll be over the moon with that. Adele's Duke is another one, run for Golden Sprint finalists and the Laura's as well, and a real progressive sort of view. I know you were a very confident Golden Sprint night. Yeah, obviously, I just thought he was massively overpriced, and we know what we've got with, with the dog. We know how he can improve. He's a type of dog that I'll probably find a second from a trial to, to a race once he's had a look around there, and we've put some work into him. Um, he's deceiving on paper what the dog can actually do. Uh, he's just run a cracking race at Mama Green um, previously, picking up one of Kevin's good dogs. Trolled him around Tile Street on 2980, which it's a fair run first time. And like I say, he can find chunks, so we'll, we'll have a chance with him. We'll go, we'll go. Another one heading to Toast of the Derby. Luna Rocket we've seen today as well. What a lovely bitch she is. And uh, she's beaten some of the best bitches around. Yeah, she came over. She's not been with me long, to be honest. Um, Wayne and Nigel Leonard in Ireland sent her me over to see if I could have a pop with her. Took her to, I took her to Monmouth, not knowing what I would go. And she'd done 2820 in a trial, so obviously that's travelling a little bit. Uh, took her then to the track championship down Hull. She done 2940 first look round there, beating New and Leaves and some good bitches. Um, she's just recently won another bitches race at Monmouth the weekend. Uh, I took her to Charles the last week for a look round there. I mean, she done a 419 section, also it's a great section, and she was picked up, picked up by Beach Avenue. So you know, there's nothing to be afraid of being picked up by that dog. So hopefully another one that a little bit of improvements, and she might skip a few rounds. We've got a, a nice derby team shaping up here and another bitch in the kennel that we've seen today is Adele's Honey who has uh, some good form in Ireland, just the two runs and two wins. Uh, big potential, you think? Yeah, obviously she came over, we had a few issues with this settling wise and whatever, but she'd done 28.54 around Yule on December, last race in December, which she takes some doing for any dog, let alone a little 25 to 26 kilo bitch. Uh, brought her over, settled, we ran her at Monmouth the weekend. I mean, she beat that uh, dog of Mark Wallace's, I think it was, Zach's Tornado, who's then come out and done 2960 winning on its debut in a trial stakes race at Tulsa the other day. So, you know, I think she could be special, but we've just got to get her right and there'll be no rush with her. You've had a few issues with her, haven't you, that you're working on? Yeah, she, I mean, the run she ran at Monmouth the other day, she must have gone seven, eight clear at the second bend, but she didn't win by far enough for me that she should have done. The time wasn't there, so obviously there's a nickel. We've had a quick look over and found a couple of things, so we'll just put her away now for a few weeks and get her ready and see what we can do. You've got Tommy's Ranger as well, who's just in August 2019. So he's very young, but you are thinking about the derby for him. Yeah, he's just come out to the maiden derby at Telstat. He very, very lightly raced and lightly schooled. Jim O'Brien sent him me over. Uh, Manny Garcia bought the dog. Um, we, 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 Manny's a local man to Tulsa, so I said, let's try the dog around then, see what he does. He, and he's done a 29.17 and a 29.60, so we thought, let's throw him in the maiden derby. Uh, he's got to the final, ran well. He was beat by a very good dog, but uh, he led him silly to the third bend. And I, I think that a few more runs of his belt, and he might have, you know, took him a bit closer to the line. But the long term aim with him would probably be the puppy competition at Tulsa. So while he's running the track at the mini, it might be, it might be an idea just to put him in a few rounds. And then obviously it's a bit more practice for him, bring him on a little bit and he should be fit to the fiddle then come the uh, puppy derby. His brother is also here, Adele's king. You said you haven't unleashed this one yet, but you think he could be even faster? 
Yeah, Jim told me, we, uh, King was the first dog that we bought, Steve Pomeroy bought him. Uh, Jim told me that this is a seriously fast dog um, and I think he had him down as about three lengths quicker than Ranger at the time. We bought him over, we done a 15.40 first look round Momba, which that's some going for a pup really, first look. Uh, then I trolled him again and he swung off at the bends and he, he come off with a bit of a calf problem. So we're working on that now with a view to running him in the puppy derby as well, around Tulsa as well, hopefully, all being well. And there are more reasons to be hopeful for him because when he trialled in Ireland, it was the same day as a Pestana trial and there wasn't much in it. Now, um, Jim says to me, like, he found me on the day and said, like, uh, Pestana trialled the same day for it and a warm up for the derby. And, like, obviously, from, from the split to the winning line, that, you know, there's a few lengths in it, but, like, he'd be a good guide that, you know, the dog can run. And obviously, then Jim took him down to Shelburne Park for me. We expected, you know, around 19, 20, 19, 30, and I think the dog done 18, 81, something like that. So the potential's certainly there with the dog. It's just getting him right now, ready. You're not just the kennel in form at the moment, but we've actually struggled to whittle it down to six dogs to follow for this feature. It's the quality that's coming through as well. You must be really excited for the future. Yeah, we've got some nice dogs in there, really, not, that we've unfortunately not mentioned today, and that's not no disrespect to the dogs or the owners. It's just, obviously, we've whittled it down to six. Like, I've got, like, uh, Tommy's Hawk, who's potentially as good as the two pups we've just done, if not better, hopefully. Uh, Bally McFarlow, big purchase from Liam Dowling, obviously he's going to be starting soon. And there's some new dogs at the mini, obviously. I've got a, a real nice British bread litter at the mini. Uh, Dorota's Wildcat, Snooty Mary, and I think there's a couple in there. We took them down to Jeff Seeley the weekend, and he said there's some really nice people in there. He's, he's literally comparing them to some of the dogs Rab's took down there, so, you know, the future's bright, hopefully. Are you loving it at the moment? Yeah, yeah, you can't beat it. Obviously, you've got the dogs graders, open race, wherever they are, a dog's a dog, and you've got to treat them all the same, but it does add that little bit of excitement to it when we're talking derby dogs and that in the kennel. That's a nice piece, isn't it, with uh, Julie talking to Lee Field. I guess if you had to have a list of trainers who are going places to keep on the right side of form-wise, Lee would be very much amongst them. We wish him uh, continued success. He's, he's made a big impact, hasn't he, Hobsey? He definitely has, yeah, absolutely. You know, the, um, how was it, the, the Burgess, Burgess Dock, I think, was yeah, yeah. winning the, obviously, the... Um, the Springbok, of course, yeah. So, you know, fantastic. Um, and he, I think he's gone from strength to strength. I love it. Adele's honey in particular. I think he's going to be a terrific dog for him. So, good luck. Yeah, we wish him uh, lots of continued and he'd success. he'd be a happy Liverpool supporter as well, getting into... Oh, he's a Liverpool Chelsea. supporter, right. Oh, big time. OK, yeah. right, OK. Yeah, we won't mention that.